Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a, a Granger causality test in heterogeneous mixed panels in, in time domain, which is developed by Furkan and Nazir, published in Economic Modeling in 2011. This, panel, uh, this Granger causality procedure is used for heterogeneous mixed panels, means the, 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 there is a slope heterogeneity in, in, in the cross sections. Uh, between the independent and dependent variable and this test can be used for uh, for cross-section dependent data so uh, this I will show you first of all the paper it has shown that it has compared the uh, economic growth and exports data for 20 countries and if you see this last table where it has done in Granger causality it has compared that there are 20 countries and heterogeneous a lags you can check these lags individually in in any software just like stata to find the specific lags because the data is already long enough because he has used a quarterly data so there are several observations then export lag hypothesis means export is independent and and uh, growth is dependent so this table we will try to generate in uh, in matlab so how we started so i searched uh, this author and this model online i found a website where where this this code was estimated so i will come here so this was a website uh, run my code where this uh, granger causality test is shown so it go down if you can press come here it will download the code and when i downloaded it it has shown me a compressed folder uh, which I uncompressed on my desktop and in the desktop there are several files few this one two and three these are my extra files just to check how this code works and this is a base paper that I already showed you but it was not in the compressed folder uh, I have downloaded it for myself for reading and this folder is extra this was not there in the compressed folder I have made it myself now we go to in uh, MATLAB, we will uh, see where the data file is, we will go in desktop and in the desktop from this directory I will open this folder and, and where I will see all these files. In this platform you have to open this main and in this main you can see the uh, library codes and they are written in 2018. And data can be um, both variables should be replaced into an excel file so the, the data is already there the data is the same data that the paper has used so i will show you the data file how it is arranged so yeah, if you want to add your data this data file includes first column is the cross-section number second column is quarterly time periods then x variable and y variable uh, or other way around you can it is it is so it has made dependent variable is the third column and independent is the fourth column so dependent and independent so you have to make an excel file and remove the variable header and save it into um, save it into text file then second file is this dmax for that for 20 countries he has written the uh, lags how many lags should be there so it has given the numbers can set any number you want and then t includes the number of years per cross section if the number of years are not same you have to identify here so these three data files you have to create for yourself and replace it here so with data dmax and t most specifically data should be long enough so it, either it is time series annual data with too many, many years or it is a quarterly or monthly data when, when you replace these files, just come here and this is the codes, just press run. So it, it will take some time to run the results. So we will wait until the results are displayed. This command takes time to estimate. So it will show you number of time minutes remaining. It has started from 10 minutes. Now three minutes are left. It will also show it here as busy. So you have to wait till it will report you the answer and this uh, text busy is removed so 
uh, the advantage of this model is that the time updates and it, it will give you a notice that it is working so when the results are generated it will show you the uh, test statistic for each uh, cross section and its p value and it will show it for all 20 cross section and there is an overall value so overall value is smaller than all critical values so overall there is no integration and there is only one or two cross sections that are significant so these results are same as the results that are shown by the author uh, here in the last table so this way you can estimate the uh, granger causality test in time domain and so these are the same values so 4.48.85 and you can notice it here so it is 48.85 and in the paper you can see that it, it is now the interpretation for these are here so only two cross sections were significant now you can do it for the other side you can you can go up and just replace the uh, the very independent with the dependent variable change it here so put it four and then three you it will be other side and you can do the causality for the other way around so this way you can do the um the causality test developed by these these authors and 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 for your panel data thank you very much for watching